as you can tell. Oh, there's a keypad here as well. Great. I wonder if it's... No. No. Don't be another puzzle. Good. No enemies here, though, by the sound of it. What have we got? Oh, it's this place. There's a memo on the wall. Punishment for brutality towards patient. 12 hours confinement in the special treatment room. Dismissal policy no longer in effect. Contact the chief if you have any questions. Something handwritten on top of the typewritten sentence. The trick is not to leave any marks. And one other thing. This looks like it was written by a different person. The chief is a pervert. Christy would have been better off if she had been fired. What? Do I want to know what's going on? No. No, I don't. It's unlocked. Don't want to go in, thank you very much. Now in this game, it's probably going to be the worst room in the game. Oh, if I remember actually, the door doesn't open when we try to get out. Maybe not this one, but the other one. Oh no. <clears throat> Flowing freely, your ebony hair. She hasn't got ebony hair. Oh wait. Like the eternal sky scattering fragrance. My heart clamouring in my chest like a storm, you trifle with it. Your pristine glance like a feast when you smile. Yum! My thoughts disturbed, my breath like opium, it drives me mad. Eric, a great poet who conveys my feelings so well. Oh, you didn't write that yourself then. What a loser. I shouldn't have let this place get to me. Should have never gone crazy, but it's superbly enjoyable to drown in my love for you. But why won't you accept proof of my love? Don't stand on ceremony now. After all, you and I exist as one. What I give you is the same as what I give to me. Stanley Coleman. I'm just starting to not understand him at all. Can you pick it up, please? Disgusting. No, don't then. Okay. Let's see if my memory works. Does this door... Oh! Freaking eight bullets. It's another trick room, isn't it? Piece of shit. Oh, I mean piece of crap. I keep the gun equipped, I don't care. No, there's nothing in here. Never mind. No, the door doesn't lock. What's the point? Unlock the door. There's obviously going to be something good in it, but no. This game is such an asshole. Who's in here then, huh? No one. Oh, save point. Wait. Not yet. I'll look in the room first. Oh, look. Nothing but cleaning supplies in the locker. Good. Health drink, health drink. There's good variety, but nothing I would need. What's that? Stun gun battery. I don't remember there being a stun gun, but you know. This is like the Resident Evil 4. Or five of the of the um, Silent Hill world. There's tons of guns. Heather, my most sacred lover. I'm always watching you, no matter where you are or what you may be doing. I've never lost sight of you. I know you feel intensely lonely. Yet with a single key to this door, those feelings won't stand in the way any longer. We haven't been able to see each other for so long. Be patient. It's just a little longer. I'll be patient too, even though I long to hold you in these hands of mine. The key is behind the shelves, in the underground garage, or garage. Oh, why there? Ask that idiot doctor. Who's not? There's not a single person in here who's right in the head. Not just in this hospital, I mean in all of Silent Hill. Except me, Danny Coleman. That's me, Jim Bob Harry Larry. I can make a song out of that. Jim Bob Harry Larry, something something, I don't bloody know. So I'm not going to try hospital storeroom, huh? Hmm. Store my goods somewhere else, thank you very much. No! What's the point of the elevator to this floor working? We don't need anything up here. We actually don't need anything up here to get to the stairwell. It would have made more sense do not let the elevator go to the third floor. I don't think we even have the code for this door here yet, so we're going to go back down to the basement. 
Unless we can get on the roof, of course, and meet Pyramid Head and get knocked down again. But no, that doesn't happen in this game. Why? Because... Oh. Well, oh dear. Oh! Oh shit. Run away. It was a closer. Oh, there was a book on the floor. I saw it. With my own four eyes. Right, we're going to look out here. It's probably a trap! Get out of the way. It's alright. These enemies I can deal with. Oh! Oh, good. No! Well, at least they fixed that fence after Pyramid had ruined it. I hope you can hear me today. I feel like the microphone's a bit too close. Just in case, I've moved it a bit closer to me. Yep, because I'm more important than the game. There's a dodgy sound again. Oh well, deal with it. You know what? Now that we're in, like, confined spaces, wear the bloody bulletproof vest. Because, you know, you don't need to run around all swiftly. Yeah, we've seen it already, thank you. Who's in here? Someone I'm going to kill, no doubt. What was that? Ah. It's all just junk. I don't think there's anything important here. No. Neither do I. It's all just junk. Oh. It's all just jumbo jet. A suspicious space between the shelf and the wall, but I can't squeeze into it. There's no way I can move the shelf either. Why not? Silly. Do I have anything? Equip. I guess. I don't know. Actually, I think that makes the monsters attract to you. But monsters will notice me more easily when it's on. It won't play normal stations. Is it broken? Oh, I didn't have a look at this. That's what I was supposed to look at. Dad wrote about my past in here. As always, this should be novelised. Ah. I hope this will never come to any use. Maybe it's better you never know. More than anything else, I fear the possibility of your going away far from me. But sometimes we have to tell the truth. That's why I'm writing this, before I'm lost in death and oblivion. Oh, Elder Scrolls. Oh, what happened back then? I mean, what ha I don't know. That has something to do with who you are. It all started 24 years ago. Coming back from a vacation, my wife and I found a baby on the side of the highway. Since we were childless, we thanked God for letting us meet this child, this girl. We took her home. Three years later, my wife died, and another four years later, 17 years ago, I came to Silent Hill. I heard the girl's pleas and took her with me, not knowing why she wanted to, us to go there. And it was there the that the girl went away, not that she actually went anywhere, nor did she die. Return to her original self, is what Dahlia Gillespie PIE said. Original self. That was the young woman burned by her mother as a sacrifice to God, a lesser Gillespie PIE! Half her soul escaped in those flames and went on to live in a baby, in that girl of mine, of ours. Seven years passed before that half a girl returned to Silent Hill and made a lesser whole again. Newly strengthened, she vowed to kill God. God, a fetus, nestled in into his sacrificial girl's womb, was summoned with the usual rites. This was a lesser's wish, no matter what the outcome, even if her own existence were at stake. But that wish was not granted. My interruption meant she prayed instead for the girl's return. I alone couldn't bring her back. Dahlia did it. Pie. I only helped at the birthing ceremony to bring God out of a lesser. The newly born God wailed once and was dead. All from that girl's and probably a lesser's conscious resistance. That's not the end. Oh, God. He talks more than Heather. After God had vanished in a glow of light, a lesser reappeared and gave me a baby. She looked a lot like that girl so long ago. And then Alessa was gone, dead. There was nothing I could have done to help. I simply clutched the baby to my chest and ran off. Not in the ending I got! The whole thing felt like a dream, but I had proof that it wasn't. The girl was nowhere to be found, and in my arms, the baby. Now, 17 years have passed. It feels like only yesterday, and again, it feels like a million years ago. What? Oh. I confess I had reserved... I confess I had reservations at first about raising that baby. Could I love her? Her existence was thoroughly unexplainable. 
I thought she could be that young woman who snatched away my beloved daughter that led to sadness, anger. There were times when I put my hands around her tiny little throat. Oh! Several times I even considered abandoning her. That's what a terrible person I am. But I decided to raise her after all. I just couldn't seem to let her go. When she, when you looked at me, you laughed. So, even now, I can't forget about that girl. But I love you. I have no doubts about that. That's all I ask you to believe. To my precious daughter, Harry Mason. What? Your daughter's called Harry Mason? No! I don't bloody know. Maybe the room is flashing. Telling me that I should use a flashing camera. You know? You do. Flash. Ah! Uh. Oh. What the hell? I actually am. Wow, I did not know that. Oh no, what are we going to see? I'm scared. 